When we first got there, um, you want to get over your jet lake, so we went to Victoria Falls. Um, I didn't do any game drives there. I saw some animals already. I mean, it's Africa, so there's animals everywhere. I remember the first elephant we saw, and we spent an hour with that guy, <laughs> just filming and filming. Little did we know that later on we would see literally thousands of them. Um, but the first day, we spent, the first two days we spent in Victoria Falls, and then, then we got across to the first camp, Chobi, and that was kind of cool. It was that a luxury five-star camp. Had a great time there. 
It was amazing. On the last night there, we had this beautiful dinner by the river down there, by the, by the Ogovanga, and it was just great. And then one of the waiters said, you know, there's a warthog underneath the table over there. And I go, well, that's impossible. So I got up and I walked over there, and there's this humongous warthog just sleep, sleeping, snoring <laughs> quite loud under underneath, the buffet table. underneath the buffet table where we got our food and everything. And I mean, it's wild. You know, it's a, it's a it's a wild pick, isn't it? I mean, it could be dangerous, you would think, but wasn't at all. So that was a great experience. That's how we started out, and then uh, the next day the planes came in, um, and that saved us seven, eight hours worth of driving because these planes come in. They swoop you up, and, and an hour, the next hour later, you're, you're you're landing on some little airstrip, and you're and you're in a completely different area suddenly. The second one was the elephant camp, and that was also incredible. And we, we had we had a little room where literally, I mean, you could, I mean, the elephants were right there, and there was a water hole. So, all day and all night there was elephants. Um, it was just incredible. Wild dogs eating. Immediately saw a dead elephant being eaten by two giant lions. Very exhilarating. We got a pet a cheetah, and then it got to you know lick us, and that was incredible. We got to hear the lion roar, chasing out another lion, which again is just gets your heart going and gets you all excited because you get to see this massive animal. At the last camp we went to, there was a there was a hippo that came a little bit too close to the boat, which was a little bit more exciting than the other times. Hyenas eating an elephant. We got to see a leopard on the way to the airport, just kind of hanging out right there. I mean, all these animals are like within 10 feet from you, so the whole time you you can reach out and touch them, you don't. But it was a really, really awesome experience, every single camp. Ocean Enterprises, they just have a way of planning everything to the absolute T. Like, as far as the, the transportation, the hotels, everything is five star, and I... Never a dull moment. Never like a every, dull moment. Everything, you know, it's like... And anyone it's, that does go on this trip, one thing that I think most people that went on the trip with us regretted was you don't want to stay in the hotel you don't, at you don't all. Wanna, because that you know, lounging game ride, is, it's relaxing and stuff to lounge, but you're you're there. Because you have to and wait, you do so have to wake up early. You that um, you just don't want to you don't want to waste wanna your miss. time there, you know, sitting on a bed or something. Um, but anytime so. anyone stayed at home and didn't go on the game there was ride, always something there was, was always missed. something that they missed, whether and yeah. it was always huge, like a mm -hmm. leopard or the the dog kill or whatever. Every, I mean, yeah, it was spectacular, and I think everyone should definitely experience this trip. Mm -hmm.